Hey guys, it's Christina. So today I wanted to do a completely different video from anything I do on my channel. I talk about beauty, health, fashion, lifestyle, some travel vlogs, whatever, but I've never sat down and like talked to you guys about anything spiritual or things that I personally talk about with people that are close with me in my life. You know, I've never posted it online. Um, I would just, you know, sprinkle a little bit of whatever like in the different videos talking about like empaths and like you know love and all that but I've never really sat down and talked about it so I just got back from the East Coast yesterday I just it's my first day I'm still kind of tired but like I was in Florida Virginia all of that and Florida was great had a nice little big game Virginia I had so much stress I was working and you know a doctor appointments and then my laptop got stolen which I'll get to in a second but all of that still, you know, I did not cry, which was like like so surprising to me because I, like a few years ago, my friend dropped my hard drive and it broke and like I lost everything. I cried so much at the Apple store. They were like, you know, we cannot recover anything. If we could recover, it's gonna take this much money. The point is I cried so hard because it's like literally my life, my pictures with my family and my college projects, so much was on there and then that was gone. So fast forward to now, I have this new laptop, my MacBook Pro that I got only last year that I'm still paying for, like a monthly payment. But um, yeah, it's gone, it's stolen, and I did not even cry. I was surprised at myself, which, you know, I've been reading this book, Untethered Soul. No, it's not an ad, but <laughs> I've been reading it for like the past two years. I got it in 2017 because Carly Bible recommended it, and I just I was slowly reading it, like very very slowly, kind of absorbing it and rereading chapters. And I just had it went over this chapter where it was talking about center of awareness, just like being calm instead of you know having all those emotions and everything like that. Instead of like being in that you know. Instead of letting it all kind of overcome you, you have like a center of awareness and you're just so clear headed and like I don't know how to explain it. If you guys want me to go into more detail about that, I can do a separate video. But the point is I didn't cry, I was just very centered. I'm like, you know what, it's gone, there's not much you can do about it and yeah. But that leads me also to the question which, you know, this video is all about that. So I just posted this on my Insta story when I was coming back. To LA and I asked you guys a question which by the way my Instagram is K3 chocolate but I was at the airport I had to stay the night there I was so tired and I was like you know what let me just ask you guys some questions and so I posted on my stories and I got a few different ones but the best question that I liked was how to overcome failure and I answered it last night in my stories and they got me thinking why don't I just do a whole video about it so my answer was here was me answering it how do you all the questions I got last night at the airport? So I could sit here and tell you guys this and this and this, like how to get over it, blah blah blah, and like what to do and what to think and like your practical answers, but the best answer in my opinion that is going to go beyond the practical approach is just your mindset and that's another chapter that I read in Untethered Soul, it's towards the end and it talks about death. So it's like basically don't be afraid of it, like I've never been afraid of it. I just, the main thing is for me to like, like I would be sad if I got to die and like didn't get to do what I wanna do in this life and like make an impact and leave like a legacy. That's my main thing that I wanna do. So I would just kinda of be like, fuck, I have to do it now. Like I didn't do what I wanna do, you know what I mean? As far as that, um, but besides that, like I'm not afraid of it. If it happens, it happens, but it would also said that like death should be your friend and not something you should be scared of but the most importantly it should be your teacher because it says basically like if you know death were to come like say you were told you only have a week to live what would you do with that week like who would you see where would you go what would you do you would absorb every single moment you know in your life or what if it told you like death came to you it's like you know what this is your last day on earth tonight you're gonna go to sleep and not wake up so what would you do with your day like you would probably see the people you care about right you would do what you like to do what makes you happy not what someone else is telling you to do what you should be doing whatever like that doesn't make you happy what would you do and also like you would probably absorb every moment like every person you see that day you would be like oh my god this is the last time i'm seeing them let me hug this person let me tell them i love them let me you know be the nicest 
possible. Like, you would totally treat them differently, you know, if that's the last time you saw them. And so, if you only have one day to live on Earth, and say, like, Back to the question of failure like say okay you're scared of failing so for example if you are supposed to go on stage and do a performance and you're scared right but you really want to do it like you'd like to be on stage but you're scared what people might think or you might fuck it up somehow and you know fail and everyone's gonna say oh like, you know it was not a great performance so you're scared of it but you really want to do it but if it's your last day on earth and it makes you happy going on stage, you would still do it. You would still go on there and give it your best and be happy even if you fuck it up because guess what? Tomorrow you're gonna be dead and you can't do it again. So even if people think you sucked, you still enjoyed it. You're like, you know what, I did what makes me happy. I'm so glad I did it. So don't think of failures that like think of it just as enjoying every single moment and even if you know you do fuck something up, you will learn from it. It's a lesson, you know, and don't be down on yourself. Like if anything, it's all in your mind. It's basically all how your mindset is, your perception, everything like that. So I guess that is my answer. If you guys want me to elaborate more and just do more of these videos, I totally can. Um, I just want to keep them kind of short, just five, 10 minutes maybe after editing, which I'm gonna have to use my old laptop now to edit um, before I can buy a new one. But yeah, it's just like, you know, you just have to enjoy life. Just everything, things happen and like, yes, I saw my laptop, but you know what? Things could be worse. I, you know, it's gonna suck to have to get a new one, but, and I lost all my stuff on the old one, but like, things could be way worse in life. So it's just, you know, overcome failure. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just talking. <laughs> um, let's think of another example. Like say failure, you're scared to tell someone you love them. Like you really care about this person, but you don't know if they're gonna say it back. So if this was your last day on earth and you wanted to tell the person, like you probably will still do it, right? Because you want them to know because you care about them so much. So it's like, even if they don't love you back, at least you can go and die in peace because you're not like, oh shit, I should have told them. What if they love me back? And if they do love me back, then even better. Like that's great. But if they can't say it back, at least you got off your chest. You let them know how you feel because you want to give them that love, you know, because you care about this person. So you can die peacefully. So it's like, what would you really do? So it's like failure at the end of the day. I think like you just have to think, you know, would you still want to do this thing or not? Like, are you that scared that you don't want to do it? Like, even if you were to die, then maybe you should be doing it. <laughs> like, I don't know what else. Other examples, I feel like pretty much anything that I'm like scared to do or fail at, I think I would still do it if I knew I was gonna die, I don't know. That's just me, but that is my answer. So leave me any more topics to talk about or questions you have. I think I wanna do a couple of videos about like maybe energy and just kind of how to kind of, you know, protect your own energy and be an empath and, you know, other people and things that you're always like stressing about and you know, spending your energy on, stuff like that. So I think, you know, if it's one of the topics I really want to talk about, maybe I'll do that today, actually, I don't know. But if you guys have any more questions or topics, definitely leave them in the comments. And also follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna ask a bunch of questions also, like on my stories, so we can do that. And yeah, so that is it, guys. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, it's Kiki Chocolate on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter everywhere. So I'll leave my links for you guys in the inbox and I'll see you next time. Bye.